Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of February 15th through February 21st, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. We're going to do this one a little bit differently this time. Um, we're going to do you, and we're going to do the other person. Um, we're going to focus more on you, but we're going to get a little bit more on the other person than we usually do okay so what do we have for Taurus you and somebody that is in your energy very predominantly okay but let's see what we got for you right now the lovers and the six of pentacles two sixes sixes are on the journey to balance and harmony okay it means that you are on you're taking the right steps okay you're on the right path you're going to be getting something that you deserve this is a card of choice and getting you're going to it feels like you're going to be receiving something uh something that you deserve um there's going to be something unexpected that happens there's a union here that is meant to be um yeah you've you've earned something you're going to be receiving something that uh, you probably didn't expect. Maybe you did expect it. I'm not sure. But this is an unexpected choice that brings you something. So you're definitely going to be receiving something. Okay? Um, you earned it. You deserve it. Um, this is now sixes are are you know moving away from some sort of difficult situation because fives come before it. So you may have been in some sort of uh, conflict or something, or you may have been going through some big change. But now things are going to start to balance out for you, okay? You're definitely going to be receiving something. Um, there's respect here as well with the Six of Pentacles. Um, yeah, so whatever is happening, you're going to be really happy with some sort of union. Um, so let's talk about your other person for a second. Who is this other person? Somebody that is predominantly in your energy. Um, there's a strong connection here that you have. It could be with somebody new. This is an unexpected choice in love. So you may be uh, receiving an offer from somebody unexpectedly. Okay. We have an angel that is bringing two people together that are meant to be together. These two people are meant to be together. So what do we have over here? Knight of Pentacles reversed. Somebody that isn't faithful. This is somebody that is jealous, that is not qualified. Uh, this person over here, um, whoever, you, I don't know. This is somebody that is in your energy that is unstable. This person is unstable. They're not responsible. Um, hmm. Ooh, wow. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Capricorn. Taurus or Virgo could be you could be dealing with two people. This is weak. This is this is a weak energy. Uh, this is somebody that is cowardly, that is very forceful, that lacks respect for others. So whoever you are, there is somebody predominantly in your energy that is very controlling. This person uh, isn't stable at all. They're not stable. Uh, they're not healthy. There's poor health here. This person is trying to control a situation, but they're not. They don't accept responsibility or they're not stable there's something whoever you're dealing with they, they, i don't know maybe they're sick um this is cowardly behavior forceful behavior wanting to control um but not uh able to they're, they they may they may try to but they won't be able to because this knight of pentacles reverse is somebody that isn't stable this is somebody that isn't responsible that doesn't have anything of value to offer but they may be trying, you know, they can maybe in their ego as well. So you may be dealing with somebody that is very, very egotistical. Um, that uh, doesn't have any long-term plan, you know, or doesn't follow through with their goals. But this person feels like they, they may feel like they're in control, but they're not. Let's get another. Let's talk about this. Who's, what is going on with this person? Ooh, I don't, you may be dealing with a Leo. There's definitely poor health here, and, and it's it may be a it could be an Earth sign, it could be an Air sign. 
uh, whoever you're dealing with may be mentally unstable. They may be mentally unstable. They may be verbally abusive. Uh, this person uh, doesn't think before they act. Definitely in a dark energy. So you're dealing with somebody that is uh, not happy. They're not happy about something. Maybe they're not happy about your whatever it is that you're receiving. You're receiving something that you deserve with these sixes. It's going to bring balance to your life. You're going to be in a place of harmony. Sixes are about balance and harmony. You're going to that place of balance and harmony. You may be connecting with somebody that is perfect for you, but whoever you're dealing with is probably not happy. This is somebody that is um, a liar, but untrustworthy individual. You may have somebody here that is untrustworthy. They're in a, they're in a very dark, dark place. They're sick. And I don't know if they're ill, they're mentally ill, or they're sick in, in, a, in a health manner. Um, there's definitely somebody over here that you are dealing with that is not very healthy. They're not healthy at all. They're not stable. They're not solid. They're not secure. Um, they're forceful. They're controlling. They're egotistical. And they're in a dark place. So I don't know whoever it is that you're dealing with, but I feel like there's some sort of abuse here. Okay? And lies. The Knight of Swords reversed is lies. This is somebody that... Um, it's dark by the looks of things. So let's get back over to you. Let's go back. Actually, we're going to get a couple of these. We're going to get one for you and we're going to get one for them. Or whatever comes out, you know, because sometimes more than one comes out. So what do we have for Taurus? And what do we have for the other person that they are dealing with that is predominantly in their energy, that is obviously trying to control a situation? This person is in their ego. They're not qualified. They're not responsible. They're not faithful. Um, they don't, they're not committed to anything, but they want to be in control. Whoever you're dealing with, this person is um, does things without thinking. Gong, an exciting event for whoever you're dealing with. Whoever you're dealing with is going to uh, have an exciting event. Okay. Teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. So it's interesting because this is a partnership. It doesn't have to be a lover. The lovers is a union that is meant to be where there's a deep connection. It's, it's an angel that is bringing two people together. It could be somebody. Somebody it could be somebody that is, that is obviously the same sex of you as you. Okay, so you're you're going to be deepening a bond with somebody. Okay. Um, hmm. What else? What else do we have for a Taurus? Death reversed, Two of Pentacles reversed, Empress reversed, and the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords is the end of a painful situation. May have something to do with a child, mother and child. We may have a mother. I don't know if there's a loss of a child. There could be. I don't know. But the Ten of Swords and a loss of a child doesn't have to be a death. It doesn't look like it's a death because the death is reversed. I don't think it's a death. It could be losing a child um, for other reasons. You know, that could be the case. I mean, sometimes parents don't get along with their children, you know. Anyhow, um, Ten of Swords is a painful situation. Somebody has been stabbed in the back. They have been betrayed. They have been hurt very, very badly. It looks like it's a mother or it's a woman. We have a, mo a woman or a mother that hasn't been valued, hasn't been respected, um, and it has caused a lot of pain. Maybe it felt like a near-death experience. This holding on is getting old. I feel like there's going to be some upheaval. There's going to be some chaos this week. And I feel like there's going to be a loss I, be, because of this Empress Reverse. We have somebody here that um, is, is experiencing some sort of painful ending because of the Ten of Swords. That is... Um, this is the straw that breaks the camel's back in some way. Um, so this week, I feel like you may be dealing with some sort of painful separation or painful ending, but it's all happening for a reason because you have an opportunity here that they are giving you. This is about give and take, 
okay? Whatever's happening is going to bring you something that you deserve, okay? So there may be an ending, and you could be dealing with somebody that doesn't know your value, that doesn't uh, treat you fairly. Um, I do feel like we have some a, a female here or a feminine that doesn't know her value, okay? And I feel like she's been holding on to a dead end. She's been holding on to something that is, you know, not growing. There's no growth here. And I feel like there's been reluctance to let go, but it's caused so much hurt and it's caused so much pain. But I feel like this week, I feel like this week, there's going to be an unexpected uh, opportunity that you, that you don't see coming. Something that you don't see coming with that lover's card. Um, there's a, there's going to be an opportunity. Somebody, somebody may be even helping you. You're going to be receiving something that helps you in some way to heal because this is a healing love. The lovers is a healing love. So some of you may be in a dead end situation that is extremely painful and, you know, it may be coming to an end and you may be connecting with somebody that is better suited for you or th there could be a friend here that is helping you. Okay, so whatever is happening, there is some sort of protection with that angel. I feel like there's angel protection here. Um, somebody has made a poor decision with the Two of Pentacles reversed. They've made a poor and poor, de poor decision to hold on to something that has been hurting them. Um, and I feel like now it, it, this is like a painful release or something like that so that you can get what you deserve or somebody else can get what they deserve. Whatever is happening for you, Taurus, you have an opportunity here for a connection that is um, healing. This is a healing love. This is a beautiful connection. But it, it's going to require you to release something because of that death card, even in reverse. You can't hold. You're going to have to let go of something. You are. You're going to have to let go of something. So I'm, uh, you know, and it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt some, or some, you know, it's going to hurt to let go of something. Now, whoever you are dealing with is not happy. They're in a dark place. They're very, very, very unhealthy. Um, they're unstable. They're irresponsible. They're not qualified for some sort of position. Um, they fly by the seat of their pants. They move really, really, really fast. They don't go slow. Um, I don't think it's this person because this is somebody different. You, it's not that person. This is somebody else. There's somebody else in your energy that is trying to control something, They're trying to control your happiness or trying to control, um, yeah, it's trying to control your happiness, trying to control your growth or something. There's a lack of growth over here. We have somebody here that hasn't had any growth. Now, this is, this is abandonment. It's neglect. It's hard times, financial hard times. Somebody you are dealing with is financially unstable, and they're also mentally unstable. Um, they are unwilling to accept any help from anybody. This person has a victim mentality, somebody that you are dealing with. Foolish, reckless behavior, acting stupidly. So you may be dealing with somebody that is, is doing something foolish, or they this week they may they may um, this is a fall from power. It's a fall from grace. This is somebody that has missed an opportunity because because of their ego. It looks like because of their ego or because of some sort of illness, mental illness even, or because they're not very awakened, they're not very enlightened. This is somebody that definitely has a victim mentality and it feels like maybe they've neglected something or they've abandoned something or, you know, they've just refused to uh, think in a different manner. This is somebody that is extremely stubborn, kind of like a know-it-all. You're dealing with somebody who, you know, this is a know-it-all. This is somebody that you, you can't reason with this person because of their ego. This person's ego is huge. So anyway, whoever you are dealing with that is in your energy so predominantly, they have a victim mentality. They don't accept help. They um, think that they know it all. They are not qualified for whatever the position is. And it feels like they are... Their reckless behavior, it, um, this is reckless behavior, it is. 
It's a fall from power. It's a fall from grace. This person's not going to be happy. They're going to be very, very upset with their loss of power because this is, this is not happy. This is uh, depressed, sick in some way. Um, they may do something reckless. You may, you may deal, do, you may, uh, be dealing with somebody definitely reckless, out of control. This is like out of control. So somebody may do something out of control. Um, one more card for this person that has victim mentality that is not very awakened, that is has missed some sort of opportunity because of their foolish behavior. Somebody has acted foolishly. Hermit. Now, this is a retreat, so I'm wondering if whoever you're dealing with needs to retreat. They need to heal. They need to go within. They need to take a time out. Somebody may, you know, may need help. They may be, may, they may need to get help. They, I feel like there's a need to go within and, and think about actions. Uh, so whoever you're dealing with is probably um, going to isolate themselves or they may be... Um, I don't know. I was going to say forced to. I don't know. I want to say forced to. Because this is forced. So I'm not sure if somebody's going to be forced to get help. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, the hermit is somebody that needs to wake up. That needs to be enlightened. So I do feel like whoever you are dealing with is probably going to uh, be retreating. And they may not want to. But I feel like they're going to be forced to. Um, be, they may they may be alone. Somebody, this person may end up alone. You know, they if that if they're not going to be retreating, they may be they may be end up. They, this is a lost opportunity. It's a missed opportunity because of victim mentality. This is this is this is growing old alone or being alone or needing to go within to think about you know and set goals. Somebody needs to make goals. They need to set goals and they need to follow through with their goals. But we have whoever you're dealing with doesn't commit themselves. You know they don't follow through with their plans. You know they don't. They don't. So I feel like we have somebody here that is going to be going through a, an awakening. They're going to be going through some sort of enlightenment that they have been neglecting to accept. I, just, I don't know. Um, I do believe that, um, who, who, and this is, I'm using this deck, that we have the world card reversed. Whoever you're dealing with, there's a lack of success. This person has not accomplished what they set out to accomplish. They are stuck in the present and they need an attitude adjustment. So whoever you're dealing with is going to get an attitude adjustment this week. That's going to be their exciting event. One more card for you, Taurus. And it may hurt you to see this happen. It may have something to do with a mother. It, you know, so, you know, it does hurt. It does, it, it does hurt. Or a wife or something. Um, anyhow, one more card for Taurus. We have somebody here that has definitely made some poor decisions. Oh, you're going to get a golden opportunity, Taurus. The, you're, you, you're receiving something. You are going to be receiving something that you can take to the bank, that you can keep. This is forever. Okay, this is long-term stability. So you're going to be receiving something that you asked for. This is manifestation. So you have manifested a partnership of some sort. You have manifested a partnership. If you have not met this person yet, you may meet them this week. This could be, doesn't have, like I said, it doesn't have to be with a lover be with anybody whatever is happening the answer is yes yes so I think you have been in a situation that probably uh, really really hurt you and it probably was it probably caused you a lot of pain but I feel as though you're about to get exactly what you deserve and I feel like this is a very very big week for you um, I feel like uh, it's been a long time coming by the looks of things um, but whatever is happening, you are going to be receiving something that uh, you get to keep. This is something you can touch. This is something that, you know, uh, you deserve, whatever it is. So, 
I want to say congratulations. Um, some of you may be deepening a bond with, well, you are going to be deepening a bond with somebody. Good luck. 